the, the short stories, I, I really was amazed at how many great short stories they were. I know that it was very hard for us to come up with even five. We had a couple of rounds where we had to get it down to 10 and then back to five. So um, it was, I was really impressed with uh, the number of short stories. Uh, the nominees are The Oxford Girl, Mississippi Noir by Megan Abbott, <laughs> Kashuk Books, uh, A Paler Shade of Death, St. Louis Noir by Laura Benedict, Akashic Books, Autumn at the Ad Automat, In Sunlight or in Shadow by Lawrence Block, Pegasus Books. The Music Room, In Sunlight or in Shadow by Stephen King, Pegasus Books. The Crawl Space, Ellery Queen Mag Mystery Magazine by Joyce Carol Oates, Dell Magazines. And the winner is, well, this isn't so easy. Um, but this is the longest I've ever kept a secret, by the way. Uh, best short story is Autumn at the Automat in Sunlight or in Shadow by Lawrence Block. This is wonderful. I, I was, I was <clears throat> astonished by the nomination, truly. I, uh, I was delighted earlier this evening when I read the, uh, the in memoriam thing and did not find my name in it. <laughs> and this is really uh, frosting on the cupcake. Thank you, Th thank you very, very much. Uh, I want to thank uh, I want to thank Claiborne Hancock and everyone at Pegasus Press for publishing in sunlight and in shadow. Um, the prospect of an anthology does not generally delight a publisher. I, I want to I want to thank my my agent Danny Barrow who. Uh, <clears throat> never lost faith in the project and found exactly the right publisher for it. And I want to thank uh, everyone at Pegasus for doing such a wonderful job with the book. But for this book, I wouldn't have written the story. <laughs> I, the, uh, the premise of the anthology was uh, short stories uh, engendered by, uh, inspired by paintings of Edward Hopper. And uh, I figured I had to write one too. And um, I'm glad it worked out so well. Thank, thank you very, very much. <laughs>